43C. The Honorable Speaker informed the House on 5th October 2022 that he had received the notification of nomination. The notification of nomination was therefore deferred to the Committee on Appointment on 5th October 2022 for vetting and voting to the County Assembly within 21 city day in, in accordance with the Section 91 of the Public Appointment County Assembly Approval Act 2017. Honorable Speaker, the nominees appeared before the committee on Wednesday 10th October 2022 and were vetted in accordance with the provision of the Constitution, the Public Appointment County Assembly Approval Act 2017 and the County uh, Assembly of Wajir standing orders on their suitability for appointment for the position of the county executive committee members. In total, the committee held four sittings in consideration of this matter. One, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all members of the committee for their For their input and a valuable consideration during the deliberation and vetting ex exercise. The committee also takes this opportunity to thank the office of the speaker and the clerk to the county assembly of Udir for their support, of, support according to the committee during the vetting exercise. The committee is also grateful to the media for their coverage of the proceedings of the committee that enhancing the accountability and the transparency of the effective exercise. On behalf of the committee, an appointment and a bathroom to the section 91 of the public appointment county assembly approval act 2017 and the and the provision standing order number 189, it is my pleasure and duty to present to the county assembly the committee report for the vetting of the nominee for appointment to the position of a county executive committee member. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, the committee on appointment, honorable members, the committee on appointment is established pursuant to the standing order 1924, which provides that the committee on appointment shall consider for the approval of the county assembly appointment under Article 179 2B of the approved of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, members of the county assembly committee. The same article requires his excellency, the governor, to nominate with the approval of the county assembly, appoint county executive committee member section 10 1 of the Public Appointment County Assembly Approval Act 2017 provides where provides that where the nominations of the considered is rejected by the county assembly, the appointment authority shall submit to the county assembly a name of another candidate and the and produce for approval specified in this act to apply accordingly. Therefore, honorable members, we are on DJ. Uh, we, ha we have an uh, appointment process for county executive committee nominees that you can take for yourself and then we go to page uh, 10. In the ten, we have vetting of the nominees. Are you there? Vetting of the nominees. In, a, in conducting the vetting process, the committee, in, in conducting the vetting process, the committee on, a, on appointment contains the nominees against the following criteria. Among these others, are set out in the, in the first 
should of the public appointment county assembled approval act 2017. One, academic qualifications. Two, uh, employment record. Three, professional affiliation. Four, potential country of interest. Five, knowledge of the relevant subject. Six, overall suitability for the position. Seven, integrity. Eight, vision and leadership. Nine, expectations and the key priorities. Here also we have in the same bill appearance for the nomination of the, the, the committee appearance before the committee you can see that so that one this is where now the questions ask and uh, what we got there so now we can go to the you can, you can read it for yourself that is for the nine nominees the questions that are asked are there can go to the inside. Okay, to inside. Are we together? Yes. Uh, the committee... Honorable members, these are serious issues. Uh, please let's accord the majority leader some respect so that he finishes the work in time, please. Okay, the committee made the following observations in regard to Mr. Khalid Abdi, CECM, -E nominee for environment, energy, and climate change. Uh, key areas vetted, committee observations. One, academic qualifications. The nominee a faculty degree in government and in, in governance and involvement. Two, work experience. The nominee has work experience in the public sector spanning for 20 years. Three, professional skills. The nominee has been worked for 20 years, he therefore has a professional and a managerial skills in planning and resource management. Four, leadership and integrity as by chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfied this requirement as per section 53C of the county government act of 2012. This was far confirmed from his, of the, of the, of from his submission document from the relevant agencies, KRA, ESCC, Health, and CRB. Five known of the law of Kenya and the guiding principles, such as the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the devolution laws, vision 2030 ETC. The nominee has shown knowledge of the relevant laws of Kenya and other stations, other statistics in, in relation to his portfolio. Six, professional conflict of interest. The nominee has no other conflicting interest on the role he was nominated for and, it, and is Confessant with a public service code of conduct and work ethics. The committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as CECM, -E -E Environment, Energy and Climate Change. Two, the committee made the following observations in, in regard to Mr. Farah Abdi Saman, CECM. -E 
no meaning for a better livestock and veterinary services. Yes. Key areas vetted, committee observations, one, academic qualifications, the no meaning holds a bachelor degree in education from Kenyatta University. He also holds a diploma in education from C. Two, uh, commercial and uh, presentation. The normally communicated communication and uh, presentation. The normally communicated effectively and uh, presented well as his oral submission. Work experience. The number, the normally has work experience in the public sector. Spanning for several years in the public sector with their county government as a director of the institution and the chief of staff. He has worked in the education sector in, in various portfolios. Four, professional, professional skills. The nominee has worked for several years as a professional teacher and as an administrator. Five, leadership and integrity as per chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfied these requirements as per section 653C of the County Government Act 2012. This was further confirmed from the submission of a document from the relevant agencies, KRA, EACC, Health, and the CRB. Six, knowledge on the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, such as the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the Devolution Laws Vision 2030 ETC. That the nominee has shown knowledge on the relevant laws of Kenya and other statutes in, in relation on his portfolio as he served in his area concern, area careers. Seven, potential conflict of interest. The nominee has no other conflict of interest on the role he was nominated for a conversant with a public service code of conduct and what it is. Eight, decision making and a problem solving skills. The nominee demonstrated an in-depth understanding of the sector's contemporary issues. The committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as CECM, Agricultural Livestock and Similar Services. Three, the committee made the following observations in regards to Mrs. Saadia Ahmed Abdi, CE, CM, nominee for land, special planning, and urban development. One, key areas vetted. Committee observation, academic qualification. The nominee is currently pursuing a master of a public policy and administration from Kenyatta University and holds a pattern of art, sociology, and comedy, and a beast. This studies from the University of Nairobi. He therefore fulfilled the requirement as per section 53B of the County Government Act 2012, communication and presentation. The nominee was clear and precise in her, in her submission. Three, education training relevant on the portfolio. The nominee, the nominee's education and the training is relevant to the portfolio. For work experience as it relates to the position. The nominee has 12 years of experience in the NGO sector. Five, professional skills and technical skills. The nominee has been working 
in the NGO while from this sort of success. He therefore has a professional and a technical skill in administration, management, human resource, and finance. Six, additional skills as per the position applied for. The, the nominee has additional skills in governance, leadership, and has an understanding of the matter, matrix. Uh, honorable, uh, majority, leader, majority leader, please. Honorable members, uh, please. We are in a house of fools. Let's accord the majority leader enough respect so that he's able to read the report in time. Please. Basically, basically, we are supposed to look through these documents and uh, check the veracity of the content. So if you have a document before you, please have a look at it, and let's give the majority leader time to go through the document. Seven, first knowledge on the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, e.g. the Constitution of Kenya, 2010, Television Laws Vision, 2030 EPZ. The nominee was conversant with the relevant laws of Kenya and other statutes in relation to the portfolio. A. Leadership integrity as per chapter 6 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfied these requirements as per section 35.3 C of the County Government Act 2012. This was far confirmed by the committee from a relevant clearance document to receive from KRA, ESCC, Health, CRB, among others. Nine, decision making and problem solving skills. The nominee demonstrated in the depth understanding of the session contemporary issues. The nominee found the committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as CEC, CECM for land special planning and urban development. The committee made the following observations in regards to Mrs. Padilla Abile. Marlin, CECM, nominee for public service and special program and county administration. One, key areas vetted, committee observation, academic qualification. The nominee holds a Bachelor of degree of a business management from Mount Kenya University. She also holds a defense diploma in the business management and a diploma in business management and administration from a technical institute. She therefore fulfills section 35.3b of the County Government Act 2012. Two, communication and presentation. The nominee has in a depth leadership of the administration and public service sector and they communicated effectively. Three, education and training relevant to the portfolio. The nominee the nominee's education and the training is relevant to the portfolio. Four, work experience as it relates to their position. The nominee has 11 years of experience in administration and a public exercise. She's, she's knowledgeable and well experienced in the portfolio. Five, professional skills and technical skills. The nominee has has been working in the government and the, and the NGO sector since 2014. She therefore has a professional skill in the administration and the public sector, public service. Six additional skills as far position applied for. The nominee is a good communicator and demonstrated that she is an, the authority to the team. Seven, first knowledge 
on the laws of Kenya and other guidelines. Principles, e.g., the Constitution of Kenya, 2010, the Depression Laws, Vision, 2010, ETC. Eight, leadership integrity as by chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya, 2010. The nominee satisfied the requirement as by section 53C of the County Government Act of 2012. This was further confirmed by the, by the committee from relevant documents he, processed, he presented. Observation making and a problem something skill. The normally happened what before in a in a quasi political environment has first experience in her team. The committee found the normally city for the appointment at CBCM in public service special program and county administration. Five. The committee made the following observation in regards to Mr. Asa Grove, Grove, CECM nominee for ICT, trade, investment, and industry. Key areas vetted. Committee observations. One, academic qualification. The nominee holds a bachelor degree in education, early childhood education from Iata University. He also holds a, certi a certificate in P1 from Kansu Teachers Training College. Two, communication and presentation. The nominee was clear, precise, and well prepared for the fitting exercise. Three, work experience. The nominee has work experience in the public sector, spanning for 20 years and held a, politi a political office in an elected NCA and with their county assembly. Four, professional skills. The nominee, having a work for 25 years, he therefore has a professional and managerial skill in planning and resource management. Five, leadership integrity as per chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfied this requirement as per section 53C of the county Government Act 2012. This was further confirmed from this submit from, from this submission of documents from the relevant agencies, KRA, KACC, Health, and the CRB. Six knowledge on the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, such as the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the Devolution Laws Vision 2030 ETC. The nominee has shown a knowledge of the relevant laws of Kenya and uh, other statistics, statistics in the relation to his portfolio as he served as an MCA for five years. Seven, potential conflict of interest. The nominee has no other conflicting interest on the role he was nominated for and conversant with a public public service code of conduct and what 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 is it? Decision making and a problem solving skills. The nominee demonstrated to have a decision making and a problem solving skills. The committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as CECM ETC. He is an ITC, uh, ICT, Trade, Investment and Industry. Six, the committee made the following observation in regards to Mr. Ahmed Mohammed Wardere, CECM, nominee for Education and Social Welfare and Family Affairs. Key areas vetted, committee observation, academic qualifications. The nominee holds bachelor degree on education at from Mount Kenya University and Diploma from Migori Teachers Training College. He therefore fulfills the requirement as per section 53B of the, of the County Government Act 
two communication and presentation. The nominee was eloquent in his submission and well prepared for the setting stage. Three, education and training relevant to the portfolio. The nominee, the nominee's education and training is relevant to the portfolio. Four, what experience as it relates to the position? The nominee has a few years of experience in the, in the education sector. He is an, uh, an authority in his field. Five, professional skills and technical skills. The nominee, having been a teacher since 2009 to death, he therefore has a professional and a technical skill in teaching and administration. Six, additional skills as per the position applied for. The nominee has additional skills in education management. Seven, first education, first knowledge on the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, e.g. the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the definition, the definition, laws, vision, faith, party, etc. The nominee was compatible with the relevant laws of Kenya and other statutes in relation to their portfolio. A. Leadership, integrity, as per chapter 6 of the Constitution of Kenya. The nominee satisfied these requirements as per section 53 C of the county. County of Kenya. County. Uh, government Act uh, 2012, this was further confirmed by the committee from the relevant clearance document he presented. Nine, decision making and a problem solving skills. The nominee demonstrated an in depth understanding of the section contemporary issues. The, nom the nominee, the committee found the nominee suitable for the appointment of CCM Education, Social Welfare and a Family Affairs. Seven, the committee made the following observation, observation in regard to Ms. Habiba Ali Ma'alim, CCM nominee for health status. One, Key areas vetted, committee dissertation, academic qualifications. The nominee holds a Master of Science in Nursing, Autistic Nursing, Midwifery, and a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Nairobi. She also holds Diploma in Community Health Nursing from Kenya Medical Training College, Embu. He therefore fulfilled Section 53B of the County Government Act 2012. Two, communication and presentation. The nominee was clear, precise, and well prepared for the dating exercise. Three, education and training relevant to the portfolio. The nominee possesses the relevant education and training in relation to the portfolio. Four, Work experience as it relates to position. The nominee has 21 years of experience in medical services and the public health. She is an authority in the portfolio nominated for. Five, professional <coughs> skills and technical skills. The nominee having worked in the, in the medical field and, and in senior managerial position since 2001. Six, additional skills as per the position applied for. The nominee has additional skills in leadership, administration, coordination, and management, since she is currently a nurse midwifery coordinator. Trochia, Gedo, region, Gedo region, Somalia, a senior managerial position.
first knowledge and the laws of Kenya and the other guiding principles he gave the constitution of Kenya 2010 the solution laws of laws of vision 2030 EPZ the nominee was conversant with the relevant time the laws of Kenya e.g. the constitution of Kenya 2010 the county government act 2012 and states the relevant in the medical and health sector a the leadership, leadership integrity as per chapter six of the constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee was conversant with the relevant laws of Kenya, e.g. the constitution of Kenya 2010, the county government act 2012, and the status relevant in the medical and health sector. A. Leadership integrity as per chapter six of the constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfied the requirements as per section 53C of the County Government Act of 2012, this was further confirmed by the nominee from the relevant document presented. Nine, decision making and problem solving skills. The nominee demonstrated grant great understanding to the medical and health field and her, her response were practical, practical and solution oriented. The committee found the, man, the nominee suitable for appointment of CECM Health Service. A. The committee made the following observation in regard to Mr. Mahmoud Abdurrahman, CECM nominee for water service. Key areas that committee observations. One, academic qualifications. The nominee holds a bachelor's degree in education. ECBE from Kambala International University. Two, communication and presentation. The nominee's education and training is relevant to the portfolio. Three, education and training. The nominee, the nominee's education and training is relevant to the portfolio. Four, what experience as it relates to the position. The nominee having served as a CECM in the county government of Ujir, British Ball has an experience that they left to the position he was nominated to. Five, professional skills and technical skills. Then the nominee, having been a teacher and a former CECM, he therefore has a professional and a technical skill relevant to the docket. He was no, he was nominated. So six additional skills as far as the position applied for. The docket, the nominee has additional skills relevant to the docket. He was nominated. First jury on the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, e.g. the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the Declaration, Laws, Vision, 2030 ETC. The nominee was concerned with the relevant laws of Kenya, e.g. the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the County Government Act 2012, and the status relevant in the medical and health sector. Nine. Eight, leadership and integrity as by chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfied the requirements of a chapter six as was cleared by all the relevant bodies. Nine, the decision making and problem solving teams. The nominee demonstrated and to have a, a decision making and a problem solving skills. The committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as a CECM water service. Nine, the committee made the following observation in regard to Mr. Muhammad Hassan Hussein, CECM Road Transport Public Works Housing. 
key areas related to the observation, academic one, academic qualification. They normally hold a master in business, administration, finance, option from the University of Nairobi and a Bachelor of Degree in a business administration from more university. Two, communication and presentation. They normally has a good communication skill. Three, work experience. The nominee has work experience in the public and the private sector with work ex ex experience spanning for 15 years. Four, professional skills. The nominee holds certified public accountant, CBAK, and is a member of an institute of certified public accountant of Kenya, ICBAK. Having worked for 15 years. He therefore has a professional and a managerial skill in planning and a resource management. Five, leadership, leadership and integrity as per chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee satisfies the requirements as per section 35 3C of the County Government of County Government Act 2012. This was found, this was further confirmed from his submission of documents from the relevant agencies, KIA, EACC, Health, and others. Six, knowledge of the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, such as the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the Devolution Laws of Vision 2030 ETC. The nominee has shown a knowledge of the relevant laws of Kenya and the other statutes, statutes in relation to his portfolio as he served as a top in the public, in the county government of the deal and in the private sector. Seven, potential conduct of interest. The nominee has no other conflict of interest on the role he was nominated for and the comparison with public service code of conduct and work ethics. Eight, additional skills. The nominee has an ex extensive skill in program and resource management. The committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as a CECM, roads, transport, and public works and housing. Ten, the committee made the following observation in regard to Mr. Sarah Aaron Abdi. CCM nominee for finance and economic planning. One, academic qualification. The nominee holds master in business administration from the Kenya Methodist University, Bachelor of Arts, Management Option from Kenyatta University, National, National Diploma in, in Community Health. Two, communication and presentation. The nominee was clear in its submission and clearly outlined issues in relation to the portfolio, portfolio for and give relevant examples. Three, work experience. The nominee has work experience both in the public and the private sector for several areas, commission member, manifestation commission of Kenya, technical advisor, added and the semi -added Land and Ministry of Devolution, Devolution Governance and Management Consultant at Cambridge Consulting Limited, CEC Finance and Economic Planning in the County Government of Bujir, Managing Director Super Airways, Director International. Commercial Bank of Duba. Four, professional skills. The nominee, having worked for 20 years, he therefore has a professional and a managerial skill in planning and resource management. Five, leadership and integrity as part chapter six of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The nominee certifies that this finding as part section 53C of the County Government Act. This was further confirmed 
police submission of a document from the relevant agency, KRA, EACP, Health, and CRB. Six, knowledge on the laws of Kenya and other guiding principles, such as the Constitution of Kenya, 2010, the Declaration of Laws, Vision, 2030 ETC. The nominee has shown a knowledge of the relevant laws of Kenya and other steps in relation to his portfolio as he, as he served as an ECEC for finance and economic planning in the county government of Idil. Seven, of potential conflict of interest. The nominee has no other conflicting interest on the role he was nominated for and consistent with the public service code of conduct and work ethics. Eight, decision making and problem solving skills. The nominee has served as a CN, CECM finance demonstrated to have decision making and a problem solving skills. The nominee found the nominee, the committee found the nominee suitable for appointment as the CCM finance and economic planning. Number five, committee's recommendations. Pursuant to the Article 1792 of the Constitution of Kenya and the Standing Order Number 1924, are shared together with, the, with Standing Order 464, the committee recommends that the county, county assembly approve the following nominee for appointment by His Excellency the governor and the county executive committee members in the respective sections. One, Harib Abdi Ali, Environment, Energy and the Climate Change. Two, Farah Abdi Saman, Agriculture, Livestock and Veterinary Services. Three, Saadiya Ahmed Abdi, Land, Factual Planning and Urban Development. Four, Farhia Abdullah Ma'ali, Public Service Special Program and Account Administration. Five, Lisa Grove Rove, ICT, Trade, Investment and Industry. Six, Ahmed Muhammad Rodere, Education, Social Welfare and Family Affairs. Seven, Habiba Ali Ma'ali, Health Services. Eight, Muhammad Abdurrahman Abdi. Water services. Nine, Muhammad Hassan Hussein, Third, transport, public works and housing. Ten, Sarah Allen Abdi, finance and economic planning. I now request for Hassan to second. Honorable members, I, I, now, I now propose the question that this assembly I now propose the question that this assembly adopts the report of the committee on appointments on the vetting of the nominees of members of the county executive committee responsible for various sectors laid on the table of the assembly today, Wednesday, October 12th, 2022, at 9 a.m. Will the floor is now open for debate. Honorable Minority Leader.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, upon the receipt of a notification of nomination of appointment by the executive to any office, Mr. Speaker, is legal. Mr. Speaker, under the Constitution, for that matter, Mr. Speaker, uh, it is like any other legislation uh, that is tabled uh, in, on the floor of the House, whether it is county assembly, Mr. Speaker, or in the national, or for that matter, the county, uh, the Senate, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the appointment under the Article 179 of the Constitution shall stand committed, Mr. Speaker, to the Committee on Appointment until this very day, Mr. Speaker, Wednesday, uh, a time like this, which will be the purpose made to, to the floor of the House for the final approval of the honorable members, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, I've been among the uh, committee on appointment uh, upon receiving the nominee and the names of the individuals uh, who was nominated to various uh, projects, Mr. Speaker, we are able to consider uh, some provision for suitability, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the first provision which we tried to consider personally was the size of the cabinet, Mr. Speaker. This size of the cabinet, Mr. Speaker, is very important. It's very crucial, Mr. Speaker, uh, under the Constitution, Mr. Speaker. The size uh, of the cabinet secretary, uh, uh, sorry, the size of the COTM nominated by His Excellency the Governor uh, to, to the following, to the, to, the, to the various positions, Mr. Speaker, were ten. This is allowed by the Constitution, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are also conscious and very uh, sensitive about, about the gender rules, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the two-part gender rule, Mr. Speaker, was also met by His Excellency, the Governor, and was actualized and implemented to the letter, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the other provisions as, the com as for the Committee on Appointment, which we basically considered, Mr. Speaker, and it was a requisite uh, uh, requirement, Mr. Speaker, was the knowledge experienced and Mr. Speaker, he was distinguished the careers uh, of, of those portfolios of those individuals, Mr. Speaker. What we met, Mr. Speaker, and waited on that very day, uh, 10th Monday this year, Mr. Speaker, was very well educated, diligent, educated, well and experienced. Some, Mr. Speaker, cabinets, candidates, we have found that they have worked in the public sector for 25 years and international organizations, Mr. Speaker. And I'm very much sure, Mr. Speaker, if we approve, Mr. Speaker, they will accomplish the task, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I therefore, Mr. Speaker, request uh, the honorable members to approve these distinguished men and women, and women who are equipped and set to take up the task in serving our dear county, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much. Honorable Habiba. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. I rise to support the approval of the of the of the nominated uh, thesis. Um, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy today to see two of my teachers are in this uh, appointment, like one, the Isa Gorore Irobe, and uh, Mahmoud of Mahmoud Abdurrahman of Water. These were my teachers. I'm very happy today that I am one of the students today that I'm also passing this uh, honorable house. Mr. Speaker, sir, if I can see well, it was gender balance. It was well balanced by the region of the community. Rangwaja, as a community, it was well balanced and experienced. All these ten CCs were, were all experienced. 
who was also they also served the national government and the county government as well. Like the CEC of Finance has served this county as the first division. Mr. Salah, I know it's well experienced. Issa Gorore was also uh, the MC, a former MCA of this assembly and he was the board chairman, uh, vice board chairman that is also much experienced. Second, this, all of them, I, I know all of them that from this list, all, all, all of them are familiar with me that they are sons and the daughters of this, of Wajia County. And it's a good that they got the opportunity for the job. Because I can see also, and a CPA, Mohammed Hassan Hussein, is not also a simple man, is somebody who is a best of career and is in roads. We all know that Wajia County, our roads are, have a lot of problems. Hopes that is there, he will improve our standards of roads. With that, I thank Honorable Fatuma. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support the approval of the nominees for CCM. Uh, most of them are familiar and the citizens of uh, Ojia County. They are, our, they are our men and women. They all have the requisite experience and qualifications. And I think the two third was also not left out gender. I know most of them, Mr. Isa Gorore, Mr. Mahmoud Abdurrahman of, of Water Services, the Nominee for Water Services, Salah Aden Ali of Finance, who served as the, in the first, in the first um, county, in the first county government of Wajia under the leadership of His Excellency Ahmed Abdullahi. I know Mr. Mohamed Hassan Hussein of Transport, Public Works and uh, Housing. He has worked in so many places like uh, Wasda, and he has a wide experience. I know Khalifa Abdi Ali of Energy. I think most of them are qualified, and the earlier we approve them, the better. I also ask the House that we are in the center of a parking route. We need the services and the work of DCCM members for us to go forward and deliver. So I think uh, the earlier they are approved, the better. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Mahfouda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support the motion. Uh, since since these elect I mean nominees are all from Wajir County and they are senior officers working in various departments long time ago for over many years. I think they have met the standard to be qualified to be nominated. Uh, two, the two-third gender is also met. So I think this motion is accurate and we, we as this House of County Assembly, we need the work to be done and we need to move speed so that our people are being served. You can see, like Mohammed Hassan is, has been working in Wasda. Issa Garore is a long senior officer who has even worked in IEDC a long time ago and he was a teacher who worked with my Muse. I know him. Uh, at the same time, Habiba is also a senior nurse whom I know her very well. So I request this house so that we pass, we accept this nominee so that our work continues smoothly. Thank you. Honorable member for border, Mr. Abdi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I arrive to support these uh, nominees for TECs of the Wajia County. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, 
at least every concept was presented and uh, well that experienced people. If, you, if we go back to Wajia County on 2013 and 2017, we were one of the best counties, I think the best uh, county in the whole of Kenya. We did that because most of the nominees for TECs and chief of staff in the 2013 and 2017, they came from the NGO field and the corporate. So I think that the, the governor had did the same, and we expect that we, they will deliver for the uh, storing hope of the Wajia County people. We're in a now drought situation, and we need to speed that so that the government can work. Uh, I know most of the nominees, and they are capable of working. Mohammed Hassan has shown a lot of uh, work that he did in Wajia South and Wajia North, especially when he was the CEO of uh, WASDA. And the nominee for finance, has, uh, Salah, has really performed from 2013 and 2017. And we really know the mess we, we were in from 2017 to 2022. So for that reason, and uh, every council representation was met, the gender, the equality, and everything, the constitution of Kenya was met. So I second the motion of support, and we speak that. Honorable Marin. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support the motion on the nominees presented to us today. Mr. Speaker, from their CVs, they have shown that they have worked in and out of our country, meaning that they have a lot of experience to work in our department. Our departments are all in dead bed since the other second county government of Wajia. And I expect and hope that they will uh, put, it, put the departments on their feet and work properly to restore the hope which the present uh, government is doing. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, uh, the gender balance, I can see it is well uh, were represented, but this one should not be as if a doctor has written for the ladies. I expected maybe five uh, ladies and five men, because I know women can work and do better than the men. Honorable Speaker, uh, the departments which were led by women, corruption was less, work was done, and I hope the next government or the other governments which, have, which are coming, they should copy Nakuru County. And also the people of Wajia County should bring a lady governor. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Matt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I do here support the motion. Uh, the county executive committee members are here critically and clearly examined by the appointment committee and their academic qualification work experience is in relation to the work uh, uh, the bosses appointed. Uh, I therefore uh, accept the the approval and uh, request the members to expedite or allow without uh, 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 wasting my time or being a lot of delays. Please let's uh, hurriedly accept and approve the context duties and uh, I here support the motion. Honorable Allen. Asante sana, Mwishimu wa Speaker. Na waishimu wa Nzangu. Mwishimu wa Speaker. Kabla niunge mkono njada la huu liyoko mbele yetu. Mwishimu wa Speaker. 
na muambia hongera mwishimu wa governor kwa namna alivyo teua hawa wateule aliangalia ilivyo na sote tunaamini ya kuwa wataipeleka kazi ilivyo mwishimu wa speaker nimeinuka kuyunga mkono mjadala huu ulioko mbele wetu leo na mheshimiwa speaker nikiwa mmoja wapo wa kamati wa mtahimi mimi nilikuwa pale kwa taini wale watahimi was na pale walipo mheshimiwa speaker na hakika haki ya kwamba kila mmoja kazi aliye uteuliwa ataifanya ilivyo kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker naomba waheshimiwa wenzangu tuinge mkono mjadala huu ili tukimbize eh manake tunaona kuna ukame kali sana katika eh, huu county tuliopo na ni nchi nzima lakini hapa tulipo sisi wale tunaowakilisha tunajua kwa na ukame kali inawakula akili na hapo tulipo eh, wale walioko mbele hao hawa washaondoka kazi na hawa bado hawajaingia ofisini tunaomba mheshimiwa speaker mimi naomba waheshimiwa wenzangu tuimbe mkono mjadala huu na tuipitize hawa watainiwa asanteni honorable uh, uh, thank you very much honorable speaker honorable speaker i rise to support the motion of the approval of the the, the CEN, CECN honorable speaker honorable speaker i was keenly uh, following the presentation of the majority leader honorable speaker and i read the the cities of the t uh, the 10 CECN honorable speaker they are all qualified uh, in terms of education honorable speaker they have experience and also gender was considered honorable speaker without taking much time honorable speaker i rise to support the approval all of them honorable speaker and i agree with my colleague honorable adam that we in a drought situation our people are dying uh, i request all members to be fast and we approve them and also we as much as possible we will try uh, we work hard to intervene this down honorable speaker I support our speaker. Thank you. Honorable Ahmed Dais. Thank you Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker sir, I rise to support the motion on the approval of the committee. I don't know why my friends are clapping their hands and <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you for being elected as the third speaker of the Council Assembly of Wajia. And second Mr. Speaker, special appreciation to the committee on appointments that actually did marvelous job and submitted this report to this uh, honorable house in a very short period of time. Mr. Speaker, and I know I've gone through the report when the governor when the governor has nominated the CECM for the various sectors a lot of issues have been taken into consideration of special concern is the composition of the CECM cultural diversity have been taken into consideration the aspect of or the principles of affirmative action as enshrined in the constitution of Kenya has been taken into consideration where we have three women CECs representation of the minorities and marginalized groups have also been taken into consideration that's a job well done to the governor and the committee that actually vetted the nominees in terms of educational background of all the nominees i can say absolutely they have they fit into the work they are, they are, they are being taken to the other issues about chapter 6 of the constitution all the statutory and documents have been fulfilled by all the nominees as per the report that was submitted by the committee in terms of work experience 
of notable concern is one of my constituents, the Honorable Khalif Abdi Ali, the CEC nominee for Environment, Energy and Climate Change. Honorable Khalif has been a career civil servant for a very long period of time, spanning over 30 years in the public sector. He has served as a DO, he has served as a DC in the previous constitution, and before he joined an uh, before he left the civil service and joined the political uh, field, he has been working as a deputy county commissioner. And I know in his CV and the report by the committee, he has clearly indicated that he has participated in a number of conservation efforts in the areas he has served both as a DO, as a DC, and as a DCC. So that's a clear indication that the role is being nominated for is fit, he can do wonders, and I'm sure it's given enough space to work. Honorable Khalif Abdul Ali can deliver. And I'm sure this might go on record. My request to the CEC nominee, I know the, the entire house will approve the entire list of nominees, but my special request to Honorable Khalif is that I come from Abbasway, where the famous Lorian swamp is located. We have the Merti Echo which passes there. The conservation efforts and the stringent enforcement measures he has taken in the areas of Mao Forest and Mount Kenya, where he served as a DO and a DC and a DCC, should be replicated in my home world. That's Abbasway. The other nominee who is well known to me, well versed with the portfolio she has been nominated, is Honor uh, Madam Saadia Abdi Ahmed. Saadia has been known to me for a very long period of time. She has worked with various NGOs across the country. And I am sure with her new portfolio, once approved by this house, I'm sure Saadia will expedite the development of special, special plans for all the sub-county headquarters, which has been pending for a very, very long period of time. And also of special concern and a request to her office once approved by this noble house is that she considers two bigger settlements in my world, that is Abakore and Mary Town, which are booming in terms of development so that she can undertake special development plans. Mr. Sikata, and there's also a very good friend of mine, a former MC of this house, Honorable Isa Garori Irobe. Isa has been a public servant for a very long period of time, he has been a politician, he's up to the task. And I'm sure with, in his new portfolio, the issue of revolving funds for women and youth enterprises, which I have elaborated yesterday in my maiden speech, will be taken care of by his. Uh, by, 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 the, by, by, by the new CC. Also, not to forget, it's a, uh, it's a famous career teacher, Honorable Mahmoud Abdurrahman, who is a former CEC in the first government of Wajia County of 2013 and 2017. He's very well experienced, up to the task, and with the biting drought and the water cut that's prevalent across the county, I'm sure we'll deliver. Once again, I support the motion for the approval of the nominees. Thank you very much. Honorable Bullet. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I arise to contribute to the nominee debate. Uh, it is my observation that uh, the nominees, all of them, Mr. Threshold, they have vast experience. However, uh, I have a reservation on uh, the docket of deployment. For instance, in Northern Kenya, we have shortages of teachers. If we keep on poaching teachers, we will make our children lose uh, the learning. So I therefore discourage uh, our executive to poach more teachers in further, maybe in the processes that are coming. However, uh, the nominees meet the threshold. Uh, and we recommend uh, the balance that has been done in terms of gender, in terms of uh, distribution, and have the 
the vocal, the outlook of the county. So in future, uh, I'll uh, request the management and the executive to avoid approaching further from teaching, teaching fraternity. Uh, and I thought coming, I also saw in the assignment is that some dockets are the right the right people who are not uh, assigned in that docket. However, in totality, I support the nominees. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I wish to correct my friend, uh, uh, engineer, that uh, those teachers who have been nominated, except one Ahmed Mohamed Wardere, who has been nominated to education docket, the right docket, the rest are retirees, and the senior civil servants who have taken their time to educate us. Thank you. Honorable member for Banani, Daba Yusuf. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support the, the approval of the CECs. Uh, I've gone through their CVs, and I feel they have a good record of uh, working experience. I therefore suggest my honorable members, my fellow honorable members, to approve the CECs as it is. It is well-balanced, and uh, these are all Nigerians. They are not new people to us. Thank you, sir. Honorable Adenur. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, thank you for giving this opportunity again. Uh, first of all, I rise to support the motion. Uh, the nominees have all uh, met the threshold for being nominated as East County Executive Committee members, and uh, they are all qualified. Uh, I think uh, the governor, Mr. Ahmed Abdullahi, has not missed the point. As he did in his previous government, he has put uh, the right people uh, for the position of County Executive Committee members. I, I wish I, to at least mention a few members who are well acquainted to me. Uh, I started with uh, my, uh, I was working with the gov county government previously since uh, 2013, and I'm well acquainted with uh, some of the members, like uh, Farah Abdisaman, who was in the administration department of agriculture, and uh, who has done a lot for that department, and he has been posted to the same department. He was also chief of staff before, and uh, I know he's capable and he can do well in that department. I'm happy also to see Sadi Ahmed, who was in uh, NGO world, but uh, a very good partner to the, to the county government of Wajir. She has done a lot for the people of Wajir for the period she was she is working uh, with a uh, uh, Marty Cop and uh, bringing her into the his government, Mr. Ahmed Abdullah. I think he did uh, the right thing, and I I am happy, and I'm happy and to see her uh, in the next in this current government. I'm also happy to see my sister Habiba Ali in the docket of health. Uh, she was a nurse when I was very young, and uh, she has grown in that uh, career, and uh, she has developed in terms of uh, qualifications and experience. And I have no doubt she can steer this county uh, forward. The person, the other person I am happy to see is my friend, Mr. Mahmoud Abdurrahman, who is also double as a minority and person with disability. Uh, I wish to thank the governor for bringing him back again in his new, this, uh, new second administration. And uh, he's up to the task. 
you have seen him, the, the people of Wajir have tested him. And uh, lastly, but not the least, Mr. Sarah Alan Abdi, he was my boss at the Department of Finance. And uh, he's a man of integrity with vast of experience. Uh, I think uh, everybody knows the finance department of 2013 2017. Uh, we were the best in terms of uh, service delivery, in terms of uh, internal control, uh, county operations, and even policy making. I remember being the, 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 the most, uh, I was working at the Department of Revenue, and one who have been awarded as most improved uh, county in terms of revenue collection, the year 2014-2015, and uh, part of it is his effort. And I know he will do better this time round, uh, where the county is in shambles. The department is totally in mess. But I know it has gotten the right and part of uh, <clears throat> But however, I wish uh, the governor will complement with his subsequent appointment to the people of Ajir North. We used to get two CECs, but today we have only one. But uh, I'm hoping in the subsequent appointment, uh, at least uh, he will put a smile on the face of Ajir North people. Uh, thank you very much. Honorable Member for Barajo. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, sir, I stand to support this motion. First and foremost, let me thank the committee on appointment for the well work done. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, sir, all the nominees have met all the requirements required, especially the integrity part, qualification, and experience. As uh, some of them were even started, the first uh, devolution of the 2017 uh, I can see Salah Aden Abdi and uh, Mahmoud Abdurrahman Abdi who are served uh, the first devolution. I can see now they can do better and much. Also, Mr. Speaker, sir, during our campaign, as a, uh, as a, in, uh, a member of this house, we have given out so many uh, promises to our uh, voters. And I can see having this team, we can uh, fulfill our. Uh, promises are done. So I urge honorable mm -hmm. members uh, to approve uh, the new to uh, move forward as a count. Thank you very much. Yeah, honorable Adad. Yes. Sorry. Proceed, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my staff, by acknowledging the, uh, the great work done by the Commission on Appointment uh, under your uh, Indeed, the Secretary will take his time and energy to come up with this comprehensive and detailed report to the House. Mr. Speaker, uh, some of us were following the fitting process through social media platforms, while others were in attendance as a friend of the committee or Mr. Speaker, the CEC nominees were agreed and subjected to technical and relevant questions, and uh, the response was very perfect, or the answers given by the CEC nominees. Very Mr. Speaker, I believe that the CEC nominees have the requisite academic and professional uh, qualification uh, to, to, to manage or to lead in their respective portfolios. I believe that they have what all their tech. I believe that they can execute the duties uh, diligently. Mr. Speaker, if you kindly observe uh, the distribution of CEC, uh, if you can observe, you will realize that the distribution will never exist. The second region, but uh, uh, it was fairly distributed. And that's when I congratulate His Excellency for considering all the regions. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I therefore don't hesitate to support this motion, and it's important that we approve them today so that all the CEC nominees, as soon as possible, they will, they will be in the offices and do their respective work. Last but not the least, Mr. Speaker, uh, for those of us who are familiar, because I had several people commenting about the CEC, and uh, it was my teacher, it was a friend of mine, uh, others are workmen, but uh, you know, that privilege will not be taken, or uh, otherwise, uh, we, we should not develop vested interest. 
this house are there to do the oversight of. So when you we find that we are very close here to them, we need also to check and balance the other roles that we have to play in this house. Last but not the least, Mr. Speaker, may I take this uh, opportunity to congratulate my good friend, CPA, uh, Mohammed Hassan Hussein, who we belong to the Chamber of Finance. Thank you so much. I support the motion. Honorable Sabat. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the nominees. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, I know these nominees, they have uh, all the experience, all the, they have waste and they use all their time in offices if you see the members or the nominees, they have over 30 years or 25 years in office, in public office. But, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, the people of Wajia North, if I look here, we have only one nominee. And we are going to the governor to spend his hand in the DS. When he's writing to the business, let him not forget the people of Nigeria know as he do in the sense we move. I support the motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Honorable Member Fadado. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Arise support the approval of the county executive committee members uh, based on the correlation used between their academic qualification as well as professional and technical skills and the size of the committee for nominees I mean uh, having looked at that I really agree with the, His Excellency, the Governor. Uh, since the uh, CECs are responsible for the preparation of the county policies, plans, and budgets, the criteria used based on their academics as, uh, and their professionals, I really agree with him. Uh, uh, for that matter, I stand to support uh, the approval of the uh, CEC. Thank you. Honorable Abdul Qadir. Mr. Speaker, I raise to approve the list as it is from number one to ten, but I have some reservation. First, uh, let me just congratulate the, the committee on appointment for working on, uh, on a holiday. I don't know if that was a sacrifice or there was uh, some kind of deadline, which is okay. Mr. Speaker, as per the list, I've gone through all the CVs, starting from Habiba Ali Mu'alim. So first, I congratulate the governor. Habiba Mu'alim, I see this is a perfect match for her position because she is a, she's a nurse, she has worked there, and uh, we expect a lot of changes in the health sector. And uh, we have, I don't want to mention um, uh, all of them. Uh, also, we have uh, Ahmed Mohamed Wardere. That's a very perfect match. The governor has done his, 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 his work. Also, we have uh, Salah Adan Abdi, who was in a CEC in his previous government. He was okay during those days, but we expect him to be at least to still continue with the same work. Then uh, we have uh, uh, Khalif, we have Khalif Abdi Ali. This is my voter also, this is my voter. And uh, he has a lot of experience, uh, 30 years experience, and this is uh, really a perfect match. And uh, the governor has done uh, good work in uh, in appointing him. Then we have uh, CPM Ham Hassan Hussein, uh, who has worked also with uh, with the first county government, and uh, he was an advisor. Uh, also, this is, is, is okay. Then we also have um, Mahmoud Abdurrahman and Fatih Abdullah and, and, and the rest. 
So uh, basically, the governor has done at least some good work, probably let's give it 80 percent. We have some CECs who have been appointed to those positions, and the and the experience uh, doesn't match. So we, we 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 recommend, or I recommend at least, once the work starts, they should be given a thorough training on what they are supposed to do, because this is all about policies. You cannot just say, okay, approve, 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 and this is okay, I have approved, but uh, there should be a lot of shovel within uh, the same CEC. If the CEC may not perform in his rocket, probably you transfer him to where his experience can be utilized. So I raise to approve the list as it is from 1 to 10. Thank you. Honorable member, that is, uh, proceed please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I rest to support the motion. Uh, as you know, most of these CSEs uh, will need to amend to me, and I confirm their capability to achieve their mission and vision. And to that expectation of people of the Korea Council. I also take this opportunity to congratulate Honorable uh, Khalid. Uh, I'm sure he's a very hardworking man, and he's going to achieve his mission. Thank you. Honorable Member for Gorofar. Uh, Honorable members, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I stand to support the motion after I have perused the, the CVs of the CC, the, the nominees. And uh, now that we need their services, uh, I hope as much as without wasting time. We will pass them, inshallah. Uh, I take also this opportunity to send my condolences for the last uh, one week. My area of the ward. We missed the uh, two kids passed away, one with explosive, and one uh, he passed away due to laxity in the administration of the hospital. Now that we are given a lady who is well compassed with that. Issues, I think those issues will not repeat, and uh, inshallah, we will have good service from our side. I welcome and uh, I support and I stand to support the motion. Thank you, Honorable Member for Good. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the names, the list that is uh, uh, before us are people who hail from Ogia County. They are people whom we know. Mr. Speaker, uh, the documents that we possess uh, shows that uh, they are qualified for the position. Uh, as a member of the vetting committee, uh, the job that we have undertaken, we have, we have seen that these guys are qualified for this position and uh, they deserve to be given uh, the necessary opportunity. Uh, many people have applied, you know, uh, the positions were is really dictated by the number of positions dictated by the county government act. You know, it's supposed to be a third of uh, the number of votes of the of the county. It's not uh, the opinion or the 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 idea of the governor to, to come up with a plan. It is something that is enshrined in the in the county government act, and uh, those who have uh, missed the opportunity uh, as a leader, you know, uh, if you are told to, uh, if you are given the opportunity to serve the people of Wajir. Uh, we know the applicants were many, and uh, so many people were not uh, 
Ya, 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 So we need to to to, to discuss that that these guys are here to serve the people of Ujir County, and uh, it's upon us now to seize the assembly. It's a critical pillar of uh, the county government. It's upon us to uh, to enforce the necessary rules uh, using our respective uh, committees. Committees, departmental committees. Uh, now that uh, we are here elected, uh, it is upon us now. Uh, I request the honorable member, this assembly, to be a role model one. In fact, uh, different from uh, the past assemblies, uh, this assembly should be a reference for the future uh, generation, so that uh, with uh, uh, unity of purpose. With uh, having a unit of purpose, uh, I think we will uh, we will we will we will achieve what we want, and we can take Wajia to a uh, desirable uh, place. Uh, otherwise, I I rise to to support the motion and uh, considering the, the the emergency situation that is the drought, we, I think it is uh, imperative. We approve this uh, uh, nominee uh, 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 the way the list is appearing. Thank you. Honorable Lumas. Honorable members, honorable member of you want to contribute? Proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support the motion. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, on this uh, day, I thought, uh, or I think uh, it's not necessary we debate much on this. Why do I say so, Mr. Speaker? On the executive or the CCM, Uh, and their functions are needed as provided for the Constitution, Article 181, for implementing the county legislation, or the functions, or uh, manage the, uh, coordinate the functions of the uh, of the, uh, the county. Mr. Speaker, as I just uh, came from my ward right now, and to attend the cries of my ward or my electorate, Mr. Speaker, the function of the of the executives are needed right now. Uh, on such day, Mr. Speaker, uh, we should not think back about the approval of this county assembly of the, of the CCMs or the executive. Mr. Speaker, I will request this uh, house, the Honorable House, to adopt this report so that we, we attend the cries of our, of our electorate, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honorable Nimo. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, first of all, I want to congratulate His Excellency the Governor, Mr. Speaker, for I want to congratulate His Excellency the Governor, Mr. Speaker, for nominating competent CECM, Mr. Speaker. CECM, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to congratulate the 
is excellent the governor mr speaker for nominating competent county executive committee members mr speaker uh, mr speaker these are son and daughters uh, of the soil mr speaker and we have we have Mr. Speaker, uh, served Wadir, uh, Wadir County government, Wadir, Wadir County in various uh, fields, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, in the opening to the governor, Mr. Speaker, and his nomination, Mr. Speaker, he had considered so many uh, diversity, Mr. Speaker. Uh, example, Mr. Speaker, and minority groups, Mr. Speaker, person with a disability, Mr. Speaker, and as well as Mr. Speaker, to third gender rule, Mr. Speaker, on Employment Act, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, approving these uh, county executive committee members, Mr. Speaker, will also give us the platform, Mr. Speaker, to engage uh, different uh, department of this county government, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, I urge my colleagues to approve the Honorable members, I now propose the question. On the vetting of the nominees of members of the county executive committee responsible for various sectors laid on the table of the assembly today, Wednesday, October 12, 2022, at 9 a.m. Will as many as of the same opinion say aye? Will as many as of contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Since there is no any other further business on our agenda, the House is adjourned until 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.